Welcome to the show, everybody. Pfizer fiasco is everywhere. Efficacy and uh, impact of the vaccine transmission is on fire. It's coming up next. Welcome to the Matt Logan Show. Well, Craig, here we are, back at it again, talking about Pfizer for the first time today. Today, yeah. It's good to be back. The, um, I don't know, it's, you know, I'm reading this article that you sent me from the AP, and, and it talks about the claim, it has things highlighted, the claim, AP's assessment, and the facts. And so you, you look at that kind of stuff right there, and it's like, well, okay, that's interesting. Why don't you just report on the facts in the first place? Why do you have to have a separate section for the facts? Right. That, that immediate, within, within three par- the, you know, the third paragraph, it starts out with the facts. The first paragraph is claim. Second one is AP's assessment. I don't know if we can have this pulled up on here, but you know the the second paragraph, AP's assessment and the facts. I thought the Associated Press was just supposed to report. Well, that's kind of why they're supposed to be the independent, yeah, non-biased news. Why do they have an assessment on here? Good question. Assessment to me means opinion. Yes, that's absolutely an opinion. Yeah, there's no question about it. So yeah, interesting. You know, missing context. Well, of course there's missing context. There's always missing context. I mean, Pfizer still hasn't given us all the context, in so, my opinion. Yeah. So what's the background of me sending you this article? Sure. Well, go ahead. You sent it. Okay. Well, it's so it's a Dutch um politician that oh. was at a um a UN convention regarding COVID. Yeah, it was the it was in front of parliament, wasn't it? I believe so, yeah. yeah. And he basically questioned the director of like European marketing or something like that for Pfizer about COVID and and whether the COVID vaccine was designed or thought to prevent transmission to others. And and it was a snippet and she very appropriately per his request answered the question truthfully and she said it was never designed or we never tested it to see if it would prevent transmission from one person to another um and then his issue with that was then why did we have vaccine passports why did we shut down everything and restrict people's movements if they didn't have the vaccine if the vaccine was never intended or designed to prevent transmission um, and that was his big issue. And I, I liked the AP article for the fact that it takes a step back and you kind of look overhead. And and I will... I agree with you on that, yeah, for sure. And I will defend Pfizer to a point where they never said it was to prevent transmission. It was the media, and there's a quote from President Biden in here that says that basically you have to take the vaccine so that it doesn't affect other people. Right, and, and the media ran with that. And, and I don't know who came first, but yeah, the the chicken came first. But. Yeah, so um, not all the blame goes on Pfizer. I will rarely, but I'll defend them on that. Is they didn't come out and say, at least for the from these articles, that it was designed to prevent transmission. That no, they did. They did lead people to believe. I mean, even later in the article, they talk about um, you know another doctor or whatever, and how um, they they talked about. I I don't know. Give me a, a couple of seconds, and I'll find exactly who said it. But you know, they talked about um, that if if in fact it helps prevent you from getting the disease Mm -hmm. it therefore helps from you transmitting the disease so it okay i can understand that philosophy i mean that makes sense if you don't get it you can't spread it right but that was also never part of the equation either was what you could spread it without well you could spread it as a carrier without 
fallen ill to it. My point being is, is all these people, including President Biden and many, many others and throughout the world had um, made this claim, doctors, hospitals, you know, administration of hospitals all over the world made this claim that, you know, we need to have people protected so that they don't transmit it. Right. That so was the claim. That was the claim. So where was Pfizer saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, hold it here. Uh-uh, no, we never said that. We never said it. Wait, time out. They yep. never. So that's on them. Absolutely. And and that's were, the point. They were busy coming that, in their checks. That I, exactly, that I wanted to make. <laughs> they were going to the bank saying, go ahead, keep saying it. We don't care. Yep. We're going to have plenty of billions of dollars to deal with this anyway. So right. here's the problem for me with that. It is it it's it was a trick to get a lot of people vaccinated. Absolutely. And Pfizer knew about it and mm. they didn't say anything against it. And so therefore they are guilty of that. Yeah. Um when whenever you to me, whenever you don't stop somebody, where was the fact checkers when Biden said it? And, and and Biden's not the only one that said it. No, no, he's you know, not. I mean, that was my whole the point. Lone party, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, it was it was everybody that wanted you to get the jab mm -hmm. was saying it. Mm -hmm. Now the the other the, the other fact here too that they um, that we'll probably see and unfold will be the harm that it does people, and that's not in this article. And I'm not trying to derail it right right horribly bad, but we will see the facts of that coming out too. But why is the CDC locking down and not giving certain data out anymore and all that kind of stuff? Right. Share all of the information, yes. not just some of the information. Yes. And that's yep. scary. Very. So all of it to me is just yikes. I mean, mm -hmm. this not only does it plant more distrust, distrust, trust with a lot of people it points to a lot of i mean if our government in the united states this is fascism by definition i mean mm -hmm. that is by definition what this is i'm not going to get into that but that's you look at the dictionary yep. and this is that's what it is so that's scary very and you start going down the rabbit trail of all these different people too and and no wonder they kept their mouth shut because they were going right to the bank oh absolutely i mean there's all this all these other articles just researching this um so, so and, and the reason i'm bringing some of these things up and I, i'm not going to pull the articles into it but just the whole fact you said how they kind of stepped back and looked at this the ap did and i agree they did more than most in that mm -hmm. sense. It's try it's hard to find an unbiased Oh, it's impossible. Article. It is. It's totally impossible. Yeah. Um but if you really, you know, this is a a, a 100 foot view. If you take the 30,000 foot view, you mm -hmm. have to add in all these things like um, you know, the Pfizer, one of the Pfizer head, I can't remember who it was now, so I'm not going to say, but one of the the top head people um, cashed in 60% of their <laughs> stocks um, at some certain weird point when Congress, you know, voted on and, you know, and, and all this insider junk. Yeah. Um, so you, you can't tell me that this information wasn't being passed along between each other. Right. And this isn't conspiracy and, and stuff. I'm, no, this, this is, isn't. These are facts. facts. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and these are my opinion on these facts that you know there's some license here to give some narrative mm -hmm. um, or some commentary I should say to this narrative and that's the thing is the 30,000 foot view is, looks really mucky at best very much so yeah Oof. mucky is polite yeah yeah I <sighs> It'll be interesting to see what the fallout is in the next. It's going to take a while, five years, ten years. Well, of, how long did the fallout take with the opioid stuff from the 90s? Yep. I mean, that took a 
de- decade and a half, 15 years. Yeah. And and by that time, all the big wigs will be dead. But Yeah. So my heart hurts for the people that I know a lot of people that hesitantly got the vaccination because of this same thing they're talking about, mm-hmm. that, that people pushed it on. It will protect others. It will protect others. It will protect others. Yep. Some of those people that I personally know have health problems because of why they can't trace it to anything but the vaccine and they're trying to research it more. And no they, health problems before. Right. Two, three months later, massive issues. And it wasn't, it, I won't go down that wormhole, but, and people lost their jobs because they stood their ground. Yeah. A lot of people a lost lot of their people. jobs because they wouldn't stand there. Both sides of this issue are, it's horrible. Absolutely. And, and you know, the Dutch, um, parliament or whatever came out i must have been maybe after this report i don't know but they came out and they are are recommending no um mrna doses i believe it was under the age of 65 really yes people should look that up make sure i'm getting connecting all those dots i believe it was it was the dutch i believe it was denmark interesting yeah so wow. there's this is going to unfold more. Oh, yeah. There'll be plenty to talk about. So I... <sighs> Unless people are getting bored with talking about it. Well, I don't know. It's, yeah. I, I, it's so important to look at all the different angles and aspects and views and get underneath and, you know, scrape some dirt off of it and look at it again and i don't know it's it's because it's so deep and it's yeah. i can't even imagine the level of corruption on some of this stuff i mean it's a lot of people became billionaires off of this yeah a lot or bigger billionaires yes off of this so. unfortunately not that there's nothing wrong with making money but making it off of something that appears to be misleading or dishonest. Yeah. At the expense of a well, lot of people's lives. A lot of people's lives um, in in a lot of different ways, too, because people's livelihoods have been yep. interrupted by a lot of the, the propaganda with, with this stuff. And to say that there's not propaganda behind what happened is clearly you're, you don't have your eyes open and your ears open because mm-hmm. there's been a ton. And... The uh, certainly um, sleight of hand stuff that's been going on. Look at this over here. While we're going to do this over here, stuff has been happening. I mean, we see mm-hmm. it right now just with this this admission. Yeah, that's pretty big. You know, so um, can you imagine if if um, just about anybody on the planet that is it has a conservative viewpoint or Republican or whatever would have said what Biden said and his top administration would have said, can you imagine the outfall that that would have been immediately? I mean, there would have been, if Trump himself would have said it, there would have been another impeachment. Yeah, probably. Or an attempt. Well, that's there what was, I'm there saying. was never they, an impeachment. No, but the, <laughs> I, right. The attempt. Yeah. That's what I mean, that they would they they would put them up for impeachment and, and vote on it again. And you know, it's just like that's the thing that I don't if you screw up, fine. Say I screwed up. Right. I that's that's all I'm asking, man. Mm-hmm. It's it'll never but, happen because there's too much money in it. I know. The f- but there's the the thing is is that um in history it comes to an end. This kind of stuff does come to an end. Let's hope sooner than later. Right. And usually it's not a very pleasant end. Mm-hmm. That's what I fear. I've been noticing a lot of people, whether they were forced to early on or not, um, talking with friends and people in the medical business, medical industry, that will not get any more um, variant shots right pokes they're done yeah so i don't know if that's because people are seeing the light or they just 
more and more is coming out. Yeah, it is, yeah. It, which is good. Um, so yeah, transparency, super important. Yep, agreed. If you want to comment on Craig's hair, <laughs> dial five 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 three three three. I have no idea what the rest is. But if you want to comment or have questions, email matt at mattloganspeaks.com. We'll see you next time.